Another moving walkway type of question. Okay, a straight horizontal walkway moves at the speed of two meters per second in the direction from a fixed point X to a fixed point Y. So we will always try to illustrate all this information in form of a, a diagram, in the form of a diagram. Okay, so we see a lot of uh, these things makes more sense. Okay, so we have a fixed point X, and of course we have a fixed point Y. Now there is this walkway that travels in this direction at the speed of 2 meters per second. So let this be the walkway. Now Amy walks from X to Y on the moving walkway at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. So that here you go, we, at this point we have Amy. Okay, Amy, right? Uh, she looks like she's in some kind of hurry, so she's moving at a speed of 1.5 meters per seconds on the walkway which is moving at a speed of two meters per seconds. Alright, so so far this is the story. Betty, another girl, walks from Y to X on the ground alongside the walkway. So it's not Betty is not on the walkway but she's next to the walkway. So here we have another girl, Betty. Okay, so she walks in the opposite direction. Therefore her velocity shouldn't be 1.8, but it should be negative 1.8 meters per second. Okay, so this is our girl Betty. This is our girl Amy. Alright, so this is so far what the story is all about. And uh, this is what we have been told so far. Find the velocity of Amy relative to Betty. So according to what we have um, talked about so far, the velocity of Amy relative to Betty simply means it's the velocity of the Amy minus away the velocity of Betty. Okay, now the trouble with this is we have no idea what the velocity of Amy is. Now, please do not think that velocity of Amy is simply 1.5 meters per second as given in the question because Amy is not actually traveling at uh, 1.5 meters per second because she herself is on the walkway that is moving her with an additional speed of 2 meters per second. Therefore, this 1.5 meters per second is no longer true. Okay, It's not her true speed. So the true speed of Amy is in fact 1.5 meters per second plus 2, which will give us 3.5 meters per second. Okay, now although, although Amy is moving at the speed of 1.5, she is actually traveling at the speed of 3.5. Okay, so this is as per what we have seen also in uh, example 3. So the logic is very, very important. You need to know um, the logic behind all these numbers, okay, and how to get them. So the velocity of Amy is in fact 3.5 meters per second, not 1.5 meters per second. This is very, very important for you to understand why. Okay, so minus away the velocity of Betty. Now Betty is more simple because um, Betty is simply on the ground, which is not moving. Thank God for that. But okay, she's on the ground, all right, and she's just moving in the opposite direction of negative one point eight. So, all right, it'll be negative one point eight for um, Betty. And therefore, uh, when we minus away a negative number, we add again, isn't it? So we have three point five plus 1.8, which will then give us the answer of um, 3.5, eh, sorry, sorry, I mean 5.3, excuse me, okay, 5.3 meters per second, alright, so what does this mean, alright, this number of um, 5.3 meters per second simply means that if you are Betty, you are seeing Amy moving in the positive direction, which means moving towards you at a speed of 5.3 meters per second, okay, here we have it, Something rather simple, a good start, I think, to the relative velocity type of questions. So please do try the tutorial and see if you can get the answers correctly.